everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my update for musical panning. This was created by Mari. She's going to be listed down below and everyone that I can think of that has joined in, I will list down below. I know Misty's doing it I'm, and I'm sure there's a few other people just right off the top of my head. I can't think of who it is that's in here, even though I know there's a bunch of people. I'm going to list them down below and um, hopefully you can find them. And uh, if not, just put in musical panning in YouTube search and a bunch of people will come up. This, like I said, was created by Mari. She is Patriot Makeup here on YouTube. And I believe this is the only social media that she does. So definitely go check her out down below. This is all about the um, different genres of, or not genres, like the different decades, I guess, of music. And she has the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and the 2010s and 2020s. I will um, say that she she did a good job picking out three artists and songs for um, each decade with a prompt to go along with those. Some of them I'm not familiar with. I, I listen to kind of strange music. Like I'm, I listen to some mainstream music, but I listen to some other music that um, average people in my walk of life don't listen to. And, um, yeah, so some of this is just foreign to me, which is funny because I do listen to, um, like Spanish language music. I, I love my, um, merengue. I like salsa, reggaeton. I, I like, um, Spanish pop. I like a lot of that stuff because, you know, I'm a different kind of girl. I listen to country. I listen to rock. I listen to classical, a lot of classical. I, I just... Some things I like and I just like it because I like it for no other reason that it just appeals to me. And there are some things that you would think would appeal to me just don't. Go figure. I, My brain, it likes what it likes. That's all I can say. But anyway, this project is all about um, the prompts that Mari came up with. And um, I have picked one song from each of those decades. And I'm attempting, I, I, I hope I can get through all of them, but I don't know if it's going to happen because I'm doing so many projects. And there's some that I was planning on doing that I just can't do. I have too many projects going on and I apologize if I had signed up for a project and I just didn't get to it. I am, I don't want to overwhelm myself. I don't want to stress this year. So there are some projects that I normally would be doing and I'm just not doing them this year. It is what it is. Let's get into this particular project because this is why you're here. All right, first one for um, 1940s, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry, Hank Williams Sr. Um, that is a cry-proof item. I have the Color Max um, Indelible Eyes. It is a waterproof eyeliner pencil. It is the Cat Eye Kajal, and it doesn't have a name, but it's black. It is black. Um, so I'm going to pop the lid off. I was able to twist it up and um, turn it back, so I was able to measure it. I'm down here. <laughs> I've used the heck out of this. I don't remember if I updated this last month. Whoa, my coloring went off there for a second. And I think that's why I have so much progress on this one because I don't think I updated for the month of February because um, it was a crazy busy month and it was a short month. So some things just kind of went by the wayside last month if I didn't have a ton of progress or if there wasn't enough products that had enough progress. This one is definitely going to be done by the next update. I mean, there's like, that's it. That it, that little nub is what is left of it. I really like this eye pencil. Um, it stays where you put it. It doesn't budge. It's nice and creamy and soft. It glides on. I really like that one a whole lot. And that is like the Color Max. All right. Um, for 1950s Walk the Line, Johnny Cash, it's an eye or a lip liner. I have the Bucks on Plump Line in Dolly Danger. I have not used that. It was not in my makeup basket for the month of March, so I have no progress to show you. Bad Moon Rising, which is CCR or Credence Clearwater Revival. Um, that is a nighttime item. So I have the PH Naturals Advanced Retinol Cream or Surfacing Night Cream. This one is slow going because I'm working on a bunch of different things, but it goes up and I was at this blue and now I'm at the red. So I'm making progress. And um, we'll just you know, keep making slow progress on that one. For 1970s, my decade, um, September by Earth, Wind & Fire. It's an item that makes you feel good. And um, I, I kind of went literal 
with this one. It does make my skin really feel good, but it's called Feeling Good. And it is from Pharmacy. This is, let's see, it's a Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I was at the blue, now I'm at the red. I have mentioned before, I think, that I don't care for the smell of this. But I will say, now that I'm just about halfway through the bottle, I, I love the way it makes my skin feel. Well, I still don't love the scent. It's kind of, I don't want to say it's growing on me. I think I just must be um, becoming accustomed to it because it doesn't bother me like it did at the beginning of the bottle. I, I'm not ever going to be in love with the scent, but um, it is definitely less bothersome the more that I use it. And the product in and of itself is lovely. So just putting that out there for anyone that has um, thought about trying it. The product works. It works really well. <clears throat> Pardon me. But... Um, the scent might be a little off-putting at first, but you will become accustomed to it. Most people will. Most people. All right, um, moving on to the 1980s Pride and Joy Stevie Ray Vaughan, and that is a product you're proud of. <clears throat> I am proud that I found my holy grail for my hair as far as my leave-in conditioner. This is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil um, leave-in. It's got a whole bunch of other things in the title, but we don't need to go through all that. It's a leave-in. It is my holy grail. I will always have this. I hope and pray they never like reformulate it or discontinue it because this is yummy. It is wonderful. Um, it was new when I brought it in and now I am down to here. I love this stuff. I like, And I'm going to open it up and smell it because it's just that yummy. Oh, it just smells so warm and inviting. I don't, I don't even know how else to explain it. All right, moving on to... Let's see, what else do I have? Um, the last one I'm gonna show you is for the 90s, and um, that is because the other two I haven't used in the past month. So nothing else matters, Metallica. I mean, this this is a song that speaks to me. It's a song I love. Um, it's an item you'll miss when it's gone. I have the Lip Seal Lip Balm. I love this. I've been tracking my my bees progress as it's flying north where I started and where I am at now. Um, this is going to be slow going because this is the one that lives in my purse. So I only use it when I'm out and about. Some, some days I'll put on a lip gloss. Some days I want a lip balm. Just depends on what I'm in the mood for. <clears throat> so this is going to be going slow until I finish some of the other lip balms that I have in projects. And then this will take the place of the other ones that I finish up and then I'll put something else in my purse. That's just the rotation that happens for me. So it's going to be in here for a while. So nothing for the 2000s. That's a setting spray I haven't used yet. Um, for 2010s, I have a serum I haven't started yet because I am working on the pharmacy feeling good. And then um, for 2020s, I have a super shock shadow that is not currently in my makeup basket. So, you know, some things just go a little bit slower than others. I'm okay with that. I am totally okay with that. If you want to join into this project, all the details are going to be down below. It is not to, it is not too late to join in. Apparently it's too late for me to be able to talk, but it's not too late to join in. So if you want to join in, we would love to have you. And um, yep, everything's down there if you want to. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.